Hey guys, welcome back to another comic book discussion. I'm Dazzling Gate. I'm... I... I don't know how to say this. I really don't. Normally, I, I, I can get through anything. I got through I Am Not Starfire. I went through Gotham High. I should be able to read a story about Joker getting pregnant. <laughs> I should be able to get through a story about Joker getting pregnant. Now I haven't read it because I'm just like, I'm too... I'm too annoyed with the idea. Like, I'm too annoyed about the idea. I'm not too sure how I feel about the idea. And the aspect of what surrounds the that idea, it really just pisses me off and makes me annoyed. All for a weird fetish. I really don't get it. I don't. I really don't. There's... There's things I enjoy talking about, and there's things I love venting about and ranting about, but this, this one is just one of those awkward things where you wish the editor was like, bro, what the fuck, put it back, I don't want to ever hear that idea, something like that, identical, again, get the hell out of here. I wanted the editor to do that, but instead, the editor was so dumb, this book was created. I need a sippy sip. I don't have any wine on me, but it's water, but it... I don't know anymore. I don't. I never understood why people felt the need to... It wasn't just... It wasn't just Marvel sharing their weird fetish ideas with... The P weirdo who enjoys P and like if, if that's a thing you guys enjoy, I'm not trying to throw shade, but I'm just basically saying, should it be in a comic book? The only time it would be acceptable to be talking about fetishes is if you had a drunken ass, you know, a black blackout drunk night with John Constantine and whoever the fuck else would be appropriate for that scenario. I don't expect Joker to get knocked up. I don't expect like a guy talking like all these X men members talking about a guy's P fetish. I really don't. It, it would be kind of like a weight thing. I, I can see it in that way. I'm not trying to excuse the idea, but coming from them and coming from the situation altogether, it's just super awkward. And you're just like, this is what we were getting? What the hell? Now, I'm not saying anyone with whatever fetish can be excused from writing, but these aspects, like Marvel showing, hey, yeah, look at this guy. He likes P, and it's, uh, yeah, it's just super awkward and annoying. And then you now have Joker getting pregnant. I I don't know how to feel anymore. I really don't. Now, let's take a little step back and think of what they were trying to do with this idea. Now, again, I have not read it. I'm going to probably stream my read through it. So then we can take a look at it and I can be drunk a little bit. I'm not too sure. Maybe today or Saturday. I'm not too sure. But Joker getting pregnant and okay, so like let's let's step away from that and talk about Joker's like um situation in Japan. Now Japan had like an author, like a writer artist, make a Joker manga that centered centered around him taking care of a baby Batman, and that's adorable and funny and hilarious. Because he's still an asshole, but it makes sense. You can't have Batman, like, you can't have Joker without the Batman. And of course, that's something he cares passionately about. I mean, yeah, he could probably toss out 
like a kid out the window but what's the point of that and it really doesn't make much sense it really doesn't but it's hilarious what like seeing it from that point of view but if it's like um joker getting pregnant here well joker didn't get pregnant with batman in japan it's it's common sense not to do stuff like that. It's it's expecting of, uh, well, you know, people who like that idea of male pregnancy in anime or manga or whatever fan fiction they find on the internet or fan comic. I don't know. I don't care. I'm not trying to shame anyone who does that. I am not trying to imply that's a bad thing. It's just something you wouldn't really expect from a company, like professional company. Fan art, yes. Fan, like fan comics, yes. Fan fiction, yes. The actual company, hell no. That's and the the one you would least expect it to be is Joker. It's it's kind of weird. I guess they really wanted to push that narrative that Joker can be a nice guy and a father figure. I, I guess, I guess if you're, if you're doing that, then I don't know. I don't know anymore. If you really wanted to do a Joker being dad story, and if you wanted him to be a good dad, then focus on the opposite Joker. Which was it? Like Earth Three? I, I'm sorry if I mixed the Earths up. I'm just confused at this point. But you know where the villains are the heroes, and the heroes are the villains on that Earth, that specific Earth. Yeah, that. Yes, that one. Then show it from that standpoint. Don't do it like, oh wow, like here's um, here's Joker getting knocked up. Why? Why? Why do we need that? Why do we need that? Why do we need to see images of that? I don't understand where. Who was in charge of this comic? Why did they approve it? Why? That's all I want to know is why. Why did you think this was a good idea? This is not a good idea. This is one of the fastest ways you can get someone to stop reading. And maybe it's funny. I, again, I haven't touched it. I want to try and figure out how I feel as a fan prior to reading it. I did take a peek as to how he got pregnant. And this just really freaking makes me annoyed as hell. Satana. No, she she didn't. She and Joker didn't do it. She didn't do anything with him other than use a spell. Which the spell go like um I do have the dialogue right here. No, the spell was um the spell was basically no one else will ever have your baby and well it was basically before that joker was trying to flirt with satana and you know was knocked into the mud by her because yeah i wouldn't want to get near a weirdo like that either i would not want to think about that aspect and of course i would cast a spell like that but but why say it like that because that's the problem like no one else will ever have your baby like how about nobody ever has your baby nobody ever has your baby not even joker nobody ever never like never ever will have your baby nobody nada nobody not even you Nobody ever in the whole, I, I don't know, something of that sort that makes sense. That's what I'm trying to get at, guys. I don't, Satana really should have thought of her words at, at, during that time. But yeah, apparently this was written by Matthew Rosenberg, Francisio, France, 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 Sico, France, Villa. That's a very complicated name. I apologize for not saying it right. And Tom Napolitano. I think they were trying to do something like, you know, identical to like the Batman and Joker story where 
you know, Joker actually has to take care of Batman as a baby. But to have him have a baby, now again, this is from, you know, Joker, the man who stopped laughing, number four. So if you need to know which book it is, there it is. I thought it was just like a random, like, when I first saw this, um, like, um, the scene, I thought it was from a meme or someone drew it and decided to tease everyone by saying it was official, but then it turned out to be official, and now I'm just kind of like, why? Why does this exist? Why did... Why did DC think this was an okay idea to do? There are some characters you can get away with doing that if it makes sense. I mean, I'm not saying pregnancy and men can't happen, like, biologically speaking. If you. Basically, what I'm saying is that it can happen. And it has happened. I think there's a book that's uh, about Deadpool that he got knocked up with Carnage or something. I don't know. Carnage. And then there was um, a f like month, like not months back, a few years ago or something around that time. Like years ago, they did an Eddie Brock. And well, Venom was actually having a baby, but it did affect Eddie Brock. Am I, is, was it Eddie Brock? Oh, man. My names are just, like, slipping out of my head like coconuts. Ugh. But I'm not saying it can't happen. But you have to do it in an intelligent way. Joker, no, you can't really do it with him. Yes, it would be funny. Quotation marks around funny. Funny. And why would we want to read about the joker getting knocked up and especially alluding to the fact of well pushing joker and satana in that fashion of jokers being like oh it's our child and it's like uh no yeah uh, let me just kill that for one minute that, that's what i probably would have done if that was the whole situation that's just disturbing to know that's like you know and honestly, it's like, I don't, I don't, like, I wouldn't mind if they had a plot like that where some, like, some, like, alien, like, um, okay, either alien, mystical creature, those are the only times where you can basically get away, like, fantasy creature or whatever, those are the three times where you can get Okay, fantasy creatures, which is the same as a mythical creature, but okay, fantasy, alternate reality where men get can get pregnant, but I don't think anyone wants to see that, or alien. Those are the only three times you should be able to use that idea of a concept of men getting pregnant. You shouldn't be using it in the, no, no, I don't, I don't care how stupid ass drunk you got to write this i just don't want it in my sight i would be a pretty good editor if they just left me in charge like let me be real i would definitely be like pushing away all those dumb concepts oh you want to tell a story of joker getting pregnant because of satana no go back to your fucking you know see give me a script worth reading because i don't want our you know audience to think hey yeah they're a bunch of weirdos. Like, th that's not what I want. I, that's not what I want. Go back to your fucking desk. Deal with it. And if you come back with a much worse script, you're losing your job. Okay? I, 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 don't, I don't give me, don't, don't give me those snake eyes. Don't give me those. Don't, don't, don't. Sit down. Sit down. Focus on fixing that fucking script. Make it something worth reading. And may, may, maybe, maybe you'll get to keep your job. If I can't get this in, like, if I have to deal with the bullshit of your consequences, I'm dragging it down with me. No, th th focus, focus on your fucking script. If I, th that would be me in, like, an instant heartbeat. If someone decided to come up to me with a dumbass script like that, I'd be like, okay, first of all, no. Second of all, get the fuck out of here. Take a deep breath outside. I want you to come back in. 
and give me something worth reading. This is what is happening with all these dumb plots. You can use those dumb plots with characters you expect to be dumb, but Joker, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Because it doesn't, like, yeah, Joker does a lot of crazy ass shit. And that's expected of him. But I don't think he would be at the level of getting pregnant. I'm sorry, it doesn't add up to me. Maybe if this was a, like, a fake dream or whatever, like, again, maybe it is. I don't know. I'm just, but the aspect of it, I don't know. It's just crazy. <sighs> but remember when we had dramatic, like, um, aspects of these characters, like, these characters like Joker having kids, like, not like, you know, what they did in the recent book that I was just talking about, but having it turn out to be something completely different, like, like, um, you know, Joker's daughter being the child of Harvey Dent, and then there was, like, um, like, Anarchy at one point was really briefly thinking, like, um, they were, like, I think they were hinting at him being Joker's kid, but it was all wrapped up before the end of that comic series. So, really, the aspect of Joker having a kid can be done. You just kind of have to make sure it's not freaking weird. Because I don't think anyone in their right mind would want to read a story about Joker getting knocked up. That's the last thing on anyone's mind. And you should understand that when it comes to characters like this, you don't want to fuck up the story. You really don't. Again, I'm not saying there can't be male pregnancies. I'm saying you have to have it make sense. Aliens, mystical creatures, alternate realities. Go ahead. Do it. I dare you. But in a time like a in a reality where it, it seems like getting pregnant without a woman happens like it like is normal why should joker be carrying a baby because i've seen better plots from elementary schoolers but even then that's kind of insulting to them so i don't really think i should be stooping down to that level but seriously why the hell does this exist there could have been, you know, something worth like reading, something with more thought, something with more life in it. Why is it that it's it's this like, why is it everyone's need to out stupid each other with dumb scripts? That That's the part I don't understand. There's one aspect of being able to make a memorable story where everyone can remember. Oh, yeah. Remember when Joker decided to do this blah 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 and have it be memorable instead they went down the lazy route the annoying route of having joker be pregnant i feel like they were inspired by the venom pregnancy so maybe that's why they went with that aspect but seriously i do think it could have been done better if they have if they had just decided to do something a little bit less stupid again the idea is hilarious for a character that is not like a big all-star character or has aspects that just really wouldn't work well for a plot like this. And it's, it's just, no, 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 thank you. I choose life. I don't want to deal with this. But anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on this? I thought it was pretty stupid. Um, I think there was something else I was going to talk about. Because I was thinking of all... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just remembered it. I just remembered it. Okay, so... The only times I should be seeing any villains giving 
getting kids or creating kids is if they make it themselves through other means and not like pregnancy or anything does anyone else remember that one plot of um the power the powerpuff girls were basically the like mojo jojo was in jail and created the rowdy rough boys that's that's something you can easily explain away because it makes sense granted the ingredients are weird but it makes sense it adds adds this like um different take and it doesn't really seem weirder than joker getting pregnant making kids from a toilet that's more believable i believe joker making a like a crazy ass especially since it's made out of mud wouldn't it have been making more sense to do this as an alternate reality or something like i can't remember exactly maybe it is an alternate reality but whatever but wouldn't it have made more sense for joker to wait no it made more but him basically making something out of the lab because of, I don't know, DNA from Poison Ivy. Maybe that would have worked better. Like, you know, stealing Poison Ivy's DNA to make his own bastardized, like, bastardized version of her. That, you know, would only annoy her, which would kind of please him because he likes annoying the shit out of people. That would have made more sense than what we ended up getting. Which... It doesn't add up. It really doesn't. It doesn't deliver on concepts put into it, plots put into it. It's just like, oh yes, Joker got knocked up, and now he's having a baby. Like, what the fuck? That's not how this works. Now, if he was, like, you know, forcing someone, like, you know, some kind of doctor character to help make him a kid, like, give him a kid, or, like, a bastardized version of a another super villain so he can make his plots more fun because the actual villain that he wants to work with doesn't want to do anything with him that would make more sense that adds more character that doesn't really make it so it's awkward as hell it's it, when i saw the scene i was just like this doesn't look like joker this does not look like joker why does this not give joker the justice he deserves and yes i do think he's like one of the creepiest worst villains i would not expect him to have kids via mud and a magic spell that's the least unexpected thing i expected it's crazy and i guess it's good for headlines i guess but nobody would really want to continue reading that after like that storyline I would just be more insulted by, like, oh, it's one of these books. Okay. I guess I have to read it. But, yeah, my thoughts are generally that maybe they really should have rethought this. The editor of this should have really... The editor right now should really take an understanding. Like, sit down, drink a long, long, you know, sip of your whiskey whatever beverage you prefer and understand what the fuck you just unleashed onto this world i i don't i don't get it i really don't i'm trying to be i'm trying to stay professional i'm not i clearly am not I, i'm just too annoyed by this but yeah i'm done i'm done i'll probably go through the book with you guys at one point in the stream but there's no situation where I'll have to sit with you guys and read this stupid story. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I wonder what's going on here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Shit. You guys got me to 700 subscribers. Now I have to do it. Fuck. Gosh. Oh, okay. But I do appreciate the subscribers. <laughs> Let me just tell you guys right now. It is awesome that you guys managed to get me this far. I really appreciate it. And this is the only good part of the video that I'm look like I was looking forward to talking about. Which is how you guys got me to 700 subscribers. You guys are freaking amazing. We are 300 subscribers away from 
a thousand. Now, we can get there if we all work together on this. If we push forward with the comments and the likes and, like, you know, sharing my videos with people. Like, I, I would appreciate the little sentiment there. Like, just push push it on to your friends. Just recommend my videos from time to time, and that would be great. I really enjoy having you guys comment down below, which means the world to me when you guys take the time out of your day to like you know send me a message or join my discord or you know message me on twitter it definitely makes my day when you guys are like hey yeah can we see this video of blah 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 well you guys you recommend so many great things and i really really appreciate you guys it means the absolute world and i hope you guys enjoyed this video because i certainly didn't <laughs> I, I don't understand what the fuck went wrong with this story. I, I know I gotta actually read it because I'm gonna be streaming it. I, I just didn't expect it to be this soon. I, I, I Oh god. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me and to everyone else who is part of the Dazzling Squad. Anyways, this is Dazzling Kate signing the hell out of here. Stay safe, stay cool, and stay hydrated.